Brian Shaw, American retired professional strongman, widely regarded as one of the greatest strength athletes of all time. He won the 211, 213, 215, and 216 World Strongest Man competition, making him one of only five men to win the World Strongest Man four times. In 211, Shaw became the first man to win the Arnold Classic Strongman competition, as well as the World Strongman competitions in the same calendar year, a feat he replicated in 215. With 27 international competition wins, he is the fourth most decorated strongman in history. He has also set more than 25 world records in deadlifting, stone lifting, keg tossing, grip related movements, and more. At a tiny six foot eight, 454 pounds, he is truly one of the strongest men to ever live. Brian Shaw. First, I want to say thank you to uh, Fairfax, Dr. Goldman, the entire committee for selecting me. I mean, this is a, uh, definitely a big honor uh, to be up here, and, and especially with this class, you know, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. And, um, you know, for me, I think, you know, I started as a small town kid, right? Just a kid, and, and my parents were, were great. They were super supportive and allowed me to dream. And I had the ability to dream big and to believe in myself, right? So as, as my path started, you know, I, I went down the basketball path. That was my goal, my dream. I wanted to play in college, and that was what I wrote down. I wrote down my goal when I was 10 years old. I'm going to earn a college basketball scholarship, put in the hard work, did everything I needed to do, and I was able to do that. Once I was done playing basketball, I needed another competitive outlet because I am unbelievably competitive right so i love lifting and i thought hey these guys on tv that i've seen you know lifting these crazy things i think i could do that so you know i started to compare my size my stats all of that to these guys and and uh did some research figured out how i could find a contest i entered it i was hooked immediately and then went down the strongman path set new goals and uh you know climbed the ranks pretty quickly within the strongman sport up to the point that I, I actually tied at World Strongest Man. First and only tie in, in the history of the sport. They didn't even know what to do. It wasn't in the rules, right? That was in South Africa. I unfortunately lost on a count back, which, you know, to this day, we can debate that, but lost on a count back, 16 hour plane ride back, didn't sleep a wink. And I said, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to do with my life? What am I trying to do with strong man? What am I trying to do with everything? And two words popped into my head, be great, right? Be great. That's what I was trying to do with all of it. So I got back to my gym, which was a, uh, a grocery store that had gone out of business. It was just their, their storeroom, found a piece of wood and wrote be great on it, set it up on the wall and looked at that every single day. And that's been in my gym since that day. And that is what I have strived for with everything. So of course, you know, you've got the accomplishments within the sport of strongman. You know, I was very competitive, very driven, very motivated to do everything I did. And, uh, you know, I always wanted to get into a position like this to be in the conversation of the strongest men that have ever walked on this planet. And I think that I have been able to do that, obviously, you know, just being in that conversation is wonderful because, again, I started as a small town kid, right? And, and the, the thought process was the world's strongest man, the strongest man on this planet has to come from somewhere, right? So I believed in myself. I had a lot of good people along my path help me out, be in my corner, you know, and again, that, that list is, is very long and I'm, I'm so thankful and grateful for everybody that helped me out along the way. 
because without all of those people on my corner, I couldn't have done it by myself. Of course, I have to walk out there and perform, but there, there's a team and there always has been a team around me. You know, that started with my parents early on and moved on to my wife being there for me, my boys, you know, a, a, lot, of, a lot of motivation that you can draw from the people around you, the, the support group that you have. And, uh, you know, the path has been incredible. And, and um, you know, I'm so thankful for that. But one of the things was strong, man, I wanted to leave the sport in a better spot than when I started. And I have been very vocal about this. Uh, I wanted to see changes made within the sport. And I knew at a certain point after about a decade of trying that I needed to take things into my own hands. And if, if, if you're going to do something, oftentimes you have to step up and do it yourself. So we started the Shaw Classic and we have ran that the last five years. We now crown the strongest man on earth. And I'm very, very proud of the work that we have done, my wife, my team. Uh, it's been an incredible ride, but uh, you know, it looks like this year, we're actually gonna give out the largest prize money potentially in the sport of strongman, um, which you know, we're just getting started. We're just scratching the surface and, and um, you know, it's my way of giving back to the sport, to the guys, to the fans, uh, to everybody. And, and uh, there's a lot more to come. I mean, I feel like this is you know, kind of just putting the cherry on, on top of chapter one. Uh, I still have a lot of goals and dreams and things to go after and um, you know, an impact. But you know, my message to a lot of people has just been that to be great, right? You can wake up every single day. I feel like every person is born with some gift, some ability, and all you have to do is find that. You know, God blessed me certainly with my size and my strength, and I had to work incredibly hard to maximize that. But I found my passion, I worked hard to maximize it, and I, I feel like every single person out there can do that because, you know, truth be told, I'm just a normal guy. I'm a small town kid. Um, now I'm a, a husband and a father, and, and um, you know, I, I just get up and try to do something each and every day to get better. So, you know, if, if you take that away, if everybody takes that away, you can spread a lot of positivity and the world absolutely can be a better place. And I appreciate all of you guys for being here. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Good job. I got to move the mic down now to the little people. <laughs> you should also know that Brian, the Shaw Championship he put together, even though he won it both years, he gave the prize money out to all the other athletes. And that's the charitable work that shows the kind of guy he is. So how do you enjoy your induction into the International Sports Hall of Fame? I mean, th this was great. It was a great ceremony. Everybody getting up there and talking was wonderful. You know, hearing the stories and, you know, what everybody shares, right? Because all of us have a different journey that we've been on. And, and you know, each person up here is unique and special in their own way. And so being able to share in that, be part of the class, obviously get up and, and share a little bit myself was wonderful. Well, I think the inspiration you're providing to a whole new generation of strong men. In fact, somebody was telling me there was a little kid who's disabled who said, you are his hero, and they're probably going to be hitting you up for you to just say a few words to that kid because what you've done charity-wise for the other athletes in your sport as well. Well, you know, giving back is important. It very much is important, and, and you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in, and, and uh, you know, to, to be able to give back, it's coming full circle, and to be able to come full circle is a beautiful thing, and, and uh, you know, to make the sport better, and if I can inspire up-and-comers and, and uh, you know, give them advice, do, do whatever to help them on their journey, that means a lot to me. Well, Brian, congratulations, class of 2024, honor to have you in, buddy. I really appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Thank you.